Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to FX021. So this time uh, I'm going to teach you how to make the fire. So last time we covered the uh, particles that are uh, flowing uh, around on his body. So we're going to use these particles as the source of, of our fire. So let's get started. So first thing we got to uh, bring our uh, particles. Uh, so using the uh, object merge and uh, bring all the particles and uh, and the idea here is uh, if we see the result here if we play so you can see uh, we will have fire uh, on these edges and as he's working uh, now he doesn't have any fire on his body so when he's fully uh, mummy with these uh, bandages we have uh, we have this uh, fire here okay so maybe around frame uh, 50, uh, 53 uh, he's fully uh, a mummy and uh, we are gonna generate a fire so uh, if we see here, you can see we have nothing here. If we play now, around frame forty nine, our points particles are appear, and we have our fire. So, so idea here is uh, I create an attribute called delete. Now, if we visualize the delete attribute. Uh, or is it yeah here it's all the same color here because the delete is zero and uh, here I create a bound here uh, if we template this and uh, I blast the front face face here so it's the the front face here and I add a add a center point here so if you see here the center point uh, you can uh, create dollar uh, cx dollar cy dollar cz so it will create a center point here uh, and just blast uh, the the last point here so if we see the point number zero one two three so the point we create is four so uh, blast it and delete now selected so we got the uh, center point of our uh, front face and we just uh, copy a sphere and copy a sphere here at the center here and if we see it uh, you can see the sphere is always in front of our mummy so the distance is the same between our sphere and mummy throughout the entire animation and and for the sphere I create a, a uh, attribute called delete as well but the the value is one okay so now I have a tra attribute transfer here so we transfer the uh, transfer the delete attribute uh, the one uh, the delete attribute with value of one to the uh, our particles so if we visualize the uh, delete attribute here you can see for now it's all zero and now you can see it's all one here so yeah you can see the transition here so I for the attribute transfer not random So the first input is the attribute, uh, the one you want to transfer your attribute, and the second one is where you transfer from. So if you want to transfer the point attribute delete, uh, you can see now it's all all pink here. Before it's uh, purple, so all the delete attribute of one are transferred. So we don't want that. So the condition here is a distance threshold. So if we lower that, you can see 
if we template our uh, sphere here. So this is the distance threshold here. Uh, so what I do here is uh, actually uh, keyframe the distance threshold. So if you see from the frame one to frame uh, 29, it's zero. So from 20, frame 29 uh, to uh, around 49 here, where he's fully a uh, mummy, uh, now you can see this point uh, affected. So uh, to frame 96, it, they, he's fully uh, pink. So which is uh, all the points are, are fire. So our fire will be sourcing from these pink points here. So the fire will spread all over his body uh, at frame about 96 here. So that's the basic idea here. So let's turn off the visual lines of the delete. Now we use a blast here to delete the point. So that's the effect you see here. Uh, we delete the uh, delete attribute here. Uh, okay. So now if we source our point, the fire will be uh, sourcing from this uh, point. Okay. So we use a pyro source and just uh, create density attribute and burn attribute. In this part here, uh, uh, pretty uh, the standard standard where you create a uh, fire. So we got the density and the burn, and we create uh, add some noise. So before it's all value of one, so we create density attribute and add some noise. If we visualize it, you can see the difference. Uh, some noise add on that, and we do the same of the burn attribute here, and we transpect. Uh, because we do it separately because uh, we want different noise pattern and then we transfer back our burn attribute to the this main part here okay so now we create a volume uh, rasterize attribute uh, select density at the burn and play around with the particle scale turn on the velocity blur uh, and yeah, and also we need our uh, velocity here. So that's the attribute V here. We merge them together and plug into the uh, sparse pyro solver. So yeah, uh, so in the volume source, uh, first context geometry, make sure in large field two contains sources is, uh, is checked and uh, density uh, velocity uh, burn make sure target uh, field is flame okay and uh, and you can play around with the settings here uh, play around the cooling rate uh, and uh, some some micro solvers uh, disturbance uh, turbulence maybe and uh, yeah that's basically it and uh, i also use the collision of the ground plane and the bandage collision bandage collision i create here so this is the collision i use uh, so yeah and uh, let's switch to manual so that's basically it. And I also add the, the forces here. So it's the turbulence here. Uh, I play around with the scale here. So to add some turbulence. So that's basically it. It's uh, nothing too much inside dot network. So now you cache it. Uh, so let's see. So now you cache it. So once you've have the top input field you'll uh, import this field here uh, pyro pro post process to compress the uh, compress your volume here so uh, just check all these convert to 16-bit float which will make your cache file uh, much uh, 
the cache file size uh, much smaller and uh, yeah and you cache it now you can visualize your uh, film here so yeah that's how you get your smoke uh, we don't have too much tweaking in the top network because we have our source here the source is uh, the particles are pretty interesting they have uh, this interesting velocity on, on his body so uh, most of the turbulence most of the uh, forces are coming from the animation and these uh, particles are together so yeah uh, now we gotta create our sparks uh, so for the sparks it's uh, pretty simple uh, so we go to the sparks here um, we import our animation and we import our fire we just simulated so it's this one uh, as uh, this is the similar we use the uh, pop add back by volume so we just want to use the fire uh, volume velocity to uh, drive our particles and the constant activation here I said to uh, only generate particles when the frame is uh, bigger than the 70 frames and you can play around the life expectancy here uh, the pop add back are the same so yeah that's a simple one so if you visualize the particles so go to frame 70 uh, this uh, if you that's your uh, that's your sparks uh, and uh, uh, there are several ways when you render it uh, either you just render this point so because they have the velocity attribute so when you render it it will have these uh, trails so if we attribute delete no. they have these uh, weird sprites uh, on it. so if we delete the material pass yeah so if you use a trail and add based on the ID attribute uh, that's the second way so this is then you don't need to render with the motion blur so this will fake the motion blur but you need to give them uh, some uh, uh, some uh, color so to fading so maybe this part is more bright this part uh, uh, are less bright you can use a uh, resample node it got this uh, curve view attribute so if we visualize the curve view uh, you can see if we uh, this part is zero this part is one you can reverse that and uh, and then you can ramp and remap to a different value here but in Houdini 19 they have a new way so uh, they have spark trail node which do all these kind of things for you uh, so if you just go to the spark trail you can see they already uh, do these colors kind of things for you so you can uh, you can just use the CD attribute on the on the point uh, and uh, and render it with only the lights. So you don't need to uh, use motion blur or, or something. And you can play around with the uh, the the parameter here so yeah you can also resample it so maybe not so yeah that's basically it uh thanks for watching